Hello, I'm Sophie from the National Space Academy and in this video I'm going to talk to you about astrobiology and discuss what it is, what it's doing and uh, what this little guy might have to do with it. In simple terms, astrobiology is the study of life in our universe and it's aiming to answer some of the really big questions that humans have always had. What is life? How did life evolve on this planet? Is there life on other planets? Is all life the same? Can it take different forms? And if we did find life on another planet, would we be able to recognise it as life? I suppose you could call it professional alien hunting, except we're not looking for little green people. Since there's only one place in the universe that we know life exists, the Earth, astrobiologists start there. They study the life that can exist in the most inhospitable places. Places with extremes of high or low temperature, pressure, radiation. By studying these microorganisms, these tiny living things called extremophiles that can survive and thrive in these extreme environments, astrobiologists can start to work out what life we might look for in similar conditions. Take this pool, for example. Looks pretty inviting, right? But if you were to hop in for a quick dip, you would start boiling and being corroded by acid straight away. It's a hot spring in Yellowstone National Park in America. And because of volcanic gases bubbling through the water, it's not only hot, but incredibly acidic. Yet within these waters, extremophiles like Aquifex oleucus and cyanobacteria thrive helping to give the springs their bright colours. And these conditions are extremely similar to those you'd find in the atmosphere of Venus. At the bottom of the oceans here on Earth, we have hydrothermal vents, where heat and gases from within the Earth can escape through the crust to the ocean. They're dark, hot, inhospitable places. Yet a bacteria called Pyrolobus fumari thrives here in conditions that astrobiologists believe are similar to what we might find at the bottom of the oceans below the frozen, icy surface of one of Jupiter's moons, Europa. So, uh, what about my little friend here? Well, this is a, a bigger and very cuddly version of a creature called a tardigrade. Now, a tardigrade is a microorganism. They're too small to see with the naked human eye. But they're pretty much the toughest little creatures on our planet. They're also known as water bears and they can survive extremes of temperature, of pressure, of acidity. In fact, tardigrades have even survived out in the vacuum of space. A European team of scientists sent a group of living tardigrades to orbit the Earth on the outside of a Photon M3 rocket for 10 days. Instead of dying, these hardy creatures entered into a form of suspended animation to protect them from the extremes of cold, vacuum and radiation. And when they were brought into better conditions, they reactivated. It's by studying these extremophiles that astrobiologists can develop a list of biomarkers, indicators that life could exist on a planet, moon or asteroid. These include things like water, organic molecules, and sources of energy, such as tidal heating. And once we find places with these markers, we can then send experiments to look for evidence of life in our universe. Perhaps we're not so alone.